Okay, um, we're over in Dulwich Park coming up to it now. This is, um, as I say, a very nice area. We'd all like to live here, really. Very middle class. Dulwich Park, anyway, let's have a quick look. Check it out. This is the gate. Welcome to Dulwich Park. Welcome to Dulwich Park, Court Lane Gate. Park opens at 8am, will close at 8pm tonight. All right. Yeah, you can't, I don't think they've got a car park here that I can remember. I don't think they have. Anyway, yeah, we'll vlog down this way. We'll vlog. Let's kind of look at the map. Let's have a look at the map. This is the map. I'd like to show people the map. Uh, village, uh, West Lawn. Sports pitches, tennis all weather, college lodge, the lake, toilets, east lawn shelter, horse riding, jogging track. And that's around there. It goes around in a big circle. People at Crystal Palace Park, they've got a big boat lake there. Crystal Palace is brilliant, Palace is brilliant as well because they have the, the kids, they've got the dinosaur area which has been there since 18 something. It's one of the first dinosaur parks they ever made in London, in the world apparently. It's really good. A lot of people don't know about it, they live in London but they don't know that it's even there. So I'll walk around this way. It's fairly busy now. Obviously, I've come at a busy time. I probably people think I'm you know, in London. I don't know if people are used to seeing people vlogging, but there you go. If they get a thick skin, it's good for you. <laughs> if you're shy and retiring, it doesn't it'll soon knock it out of you. I used to be really shy. Well, I still am really, but I don't care now. I've learned to deal with it. A bit long in the tooth for that now. Yeah, you've got playground, parks, you've got everything here. This goes around in a big circle, and then you've got a um, cafe over there, the other side. He's got a liberal guy, by the way. Bike riding, everybody trying to get fit. It's really cool. It's another area we used to run, me and my mate Steve. We used to do the whole circuit. It was about, we used to go around about four times. I used to go around about two or three. It's massive. I mean, you're really fit when you can do that. It must be really fit. Still am, to a certain degree. Bragging, he says. That's the cafe over there. It's a nice one. See, it's closed anyway. Over there's tennis courts. Ah, oh, the tree, look at that tree, that's fantastic. So many people trying to get fit, which is great. Got no excuse now, we have to get fit. No excuses. Is there anything we can do? That's the Crystal Palace um, mast over there. It's a BBC mast. It's very famous. This is a lovely park. It's, it's really, really pretty park. There's some beautiful bits and areas, nice wildlife areas. I mean, this, this, is a, this is a running track, but it's also a horse. I see horses come along here as well sometimes. So I think it's more of a horse run than a running track. <laughs> Over that side is the village. The real Dulwich village, which is really nice. You've got the famous gallery there, the art gallery. Um, that is so exclusive, that is. That's where your MPs and that will be living. Not your average Joe. Well, unless you bought it in 1950 or something. Even then, I doubt it. I think the average house price over there would be like 7 million, 8 million, I would have thought. Not now, <laughs> probably 2 million, 1 million if they're lucky. If this crashes after all this. 
Yeah. I may even do a jog. I think I could do a little bit. Got my step home meter on. <clears throat> yeah. Right, this bit, that's a lake, there's a nice lake there, they've got boats in there as well, boating lake. People, that's through there, Dulwich Village, straight through. Sorry you have to keep looking at me, but I can't, you know, that's the way you have to do it with these, when you're vlogging. It's certainly busy, that's for sure. I've never seen a park so busy. Well, obviously why? <laughs> I should have rode my bike. I've got a bike, I haven't got it out yet. I had to move it, we used to leave it in the hallway, but then they started getting funny over it. Since they're on Grenville Tower thing, we can't leave them in the hall anymore, even though we're paying for the common parts, paying service charges and everything. It's really annoying because I have to keep it in the flat now. So that makes you less inclined to want to get it out because you've got to hump it down the stairs, which is a sad thing. That guy is out, I don't know. This bit's a bit more um, picturesque. Let's walk around this way. History of Dulwich Park here. I'll show you it. Well, you can see that. I won't really because it's. Oh, it's just so nice to get out. View of the lake shore in 1930s, look at that. Fat shelter in 1900s. It's still there, yeah, it's up there. Kind of like people walking about in the time's gone by, hey? Anyway, let's have a look at this, it's pretty. Beautiful scenery. Let's walk this way. Walk this way. Hear the birds tweeting. A lovely night, look, you can see the moon. Just about coming through up there, look, a plane flying over. It's not many, but it's probably one of the many repatriation planes. And the sun going down, it's fantastic. Look at this. This park when it's springtime is unbelievable though. You want to see the colours. Any fish? Hello, Mr. Goose. Or duck. How are you? Going about your Mr. Ducky business. How are you? Can't feed you, can we? I'm not allowed to, so I won't bother you. Alright. Used to feed them, but we're not allowed to now. I'll bring some, go get some uh, seeds for them. I'll bring some seeds. That'd be nice. This bit's nice as well, look. There's another part of the lake over there. Sometimes there's a great big um, heron that sits on a, one of the trees. It looks like it's, um, it looks like it's, uh, it's dead, but it's not. It doesn't, you can't see it move at all. Look where it is now, it's not there now. Yeah, it's a great big, uh, must be that big. This park's lovely, man. It's one of my favourites. And someone's written NHS on there, look. How cool is that? Here, here. Uh, right, I'll take you around. This bit here, this is really, this is going through it. I'm cutting it short, doing it this way. This is that big circle I would have carried on if I would have followed this up. I would have been on this bit here coming up that way that's it the flowers are out see the tennis courts they're cool actually I walk back through this way I prefer it it's a nicer walk it's just a big circle I'll try and keep it further away look but you feel funny with your arm too I've got a stick but it makes you stand out I don't like it it's a bit, I do feel a bit self-conscious then but I should, shouldn't really worry about it, but let's go through here. There's a lot of people gathering in groups, it's a bit naughty, that. Look, 
It's not really social distancing. I'm telling you, you shouldn't be doing that. Keep off the glass. <laughs> Blakey. You can easily turn into one of those people, can't you? Look at that tree, man. It's incredible. That tree's incredible. Right. This bit here, let's cross over. See all the daffodils, look. Daffodils. They're all coming out this time of the year. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. How many steps have I done? Let's see. Probably not many. Not yet. This is funny, this ground's kind of drying out, but it's still got plenty of water in there. Sun probably. Good for them. Let's just have a little bit of peace and quiet for you. I wish I had my dog now, she used to love this. <clears throat> Trouble is I can't have another dog at the moment. Especially in a flat. I was gonna sell up and move, but what's with the way things are now, I don't know what's gonna happen. Might be trapped now. So we're coming out. That's another entrance that takes you out to the main street. That's the main, another main entrance. That's where sit out there. That's where Fatty used to live. It's a Barrett, believe it or not, it was a Barrett's house. And um. They were about, I think they were like, in those days, about 40 years, 30 years ago, about 600,000 she paid for it. Believe it or not, gated community. Like it would be. I mean, you can see the difference in London between the haves and the have-nots, can't you, really? You go through Peckham, you know, and you see it, and you come up to places like this, which is only a stone throws away. It's literally like, not even a two miles, three miles, and it's just total wealth. Go to Peckham, it's just total poverty. You know, so society is really unbalanced. These people need need to sort of get a helping hand, but they don't do it. Maybe they will after this, they realise that less of this me, 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 a little bit more we. It's very selfish. I think society's been very selfish the last 25 years, in my opinion. People are really into their own selves. I mean, Facebook and all that is just another thing. I mean, I like Facebook, but it's good, but a lot of people just get really narcissistic on it. It's all about themselves, putting pictures of themselves on there, and, you know, I shouldn't knock them, but that's the generation we're living through. I've done it as well a little bit, but when I first went on Facebook, it's because it was really business reasons, when I was doing the Amazon and that. But... I suppose if you've grown up with it, our generation didn't grow up with it, you're kind of adapting to it, but it still feels uncomfortable. Because when I was young, it was like, don't show off, don't do this, don't do that. And it feels like you're showing off. We always had that knocked out of us at school. Peckham Town Football Club, I never knew that. Mike Smith's stand, oh, Mike Smith. He was a Crystal Palace fan, wasn't he? I think. <laughs> That's a DJ. Mike Smith used to support Crystal Palace. This is only up the road. Sohurst Park. But yeah, you know, we all um we all make to feel like shit really basically all the time. And basically we were told that the best we'll ever be is like factory fodder. We were never our, our sights weren't set very high, and especially working class kids as we I see ourselves as a working class kid. I mean, you just didn't have your sets your height your sights set very high in those days. Not like now, everybody goes to uni. Back then, that was a really rare thing for people to go to uni. It's to be either from a rich family or really special. You've got, you know, a gifted child. It used to be polytechnics. There wasn't many universities back then. Loads of polytechnics. Well, they're all universities now, so I suppose when everybody's got a degree, then it loses its, its um, what's the word? It loses its um, 
pulling power or status it just becomes worthless isn't it it's like everything supply and demand so now everybody's got a degree so you know i think a lot of it's nonsense anyway so many people are great without they don't need the degrees and they're really good they just needed a helping hand on the way that would be good at doing exams some people have got are really good at sitting down and cramming and then they you know you can't be defined on four or five years of your life when you come when you're leaving school at the age of 18 it's ridiculous that's another thing society wastes people's uh, abilities and skills so many people go to waste It's a tragedy, really. <clears throat> you know, you have to do it yourself. At the end of the day, you've got to take responsibility for your own life and get on with it. I went through my socialist phase where I was like, you know, which is not good for you either because it tends to make you a bit chippy and victimy. What's all this here? I kind of grow out of it now. I just realise at the end of the day, it's down to you. Look at this. Oh, beautiful tree. And these are. Oh, this is such a lovely park. Anyway, I'll show you some of it. I can't go all around it, but I mean. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, hope it's of interest to you. If you're ever around this way, Dulwich Park. Um, it was just nice to get out in the air. I hope everybody else is getting out. Uh, go back and see what the government is saying today, whether the world's still here. It seems to be. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, please click on the little dog it's down on your right-hand side. I won't point because it always seems to go wrong. If I go like that, it might left, it might go right. I don't know anyway. But um, yeah, thank you for watching. Give it a like or a dislike if you want to subscribe. As I say, you click little dog or the gladiator will appear towards the end but you click either of those that'll bring up the subscribers a little bell you click that because i will be doing more videos this is great for a bike ride by the way not all these tracks just a little aside there yeah anyway thanks for watching um i'll um as i say i'll be doing more videos so please um you know watch out for it i'll see you see you soon all the best bye take care have a good day